it is so cold in California, which I know says a lot about my temperature tolerance. But <laughs> I just wanted to come on here because I wanted to make a quick video about how to make a sticker backing for your sticker. Um, I actually have this video on YouTube, a comprehensive guide to making stickers, and it does like slightly go over how to make sticker backing so if you want to go ahead and check that out i'll link that somewhere over here whatever uh, but this one is just going to be focusing on how to make a sticker backing and to clarify let me show you guys what i mean by sticker backing versus sticker outline okay here are all my sticker sheets i keep them in this cookie tin that i got from japan those are really really good biscuits i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about i'll add a picture right here if you've had these biscuits before they're so good um anyway i i made this it's like an organizer <clears throat> with all my sticker sheets you would think that these are sticker sheets that i could sell no these are failed sticker sheets by the way so they're sticker sheets that are miscut misprinted um test ones all that kind of stuff like this was a long time ago but when i was testing out pressure settings yeah uh, so this is what my sticker sheet looked like, like, like the very first draft. And then this is eventually what it became. After many, many hours of self-evaluation and just kicking myself in the face, so like i was saying before i got super distracted a sticker backing is um it's like the logo like the name of the company or the name of the sticker sheet it's these little lines that aren't intended to be peeled off like it's not the actual sticker it's just like the backdrop or the background oh here let me show you an example this is one of the sticker sheets that i have and this is purely the backing So, I'm going to go over how I make sticker backings. I'm going to put you on in the overhead tripod, people, so you can see exactly what I do on this baby. All right, see ya. Hello, this is overhead Kimberly. Nice to see you. So right now, this is the sticker sheet that we're working with. This is the Cozy Cottage sticker sheet and let me know in the comments below if you're interested in knowing how I do the sticker outlines as well. Um, anyway, so what I did was I did the sticker outlines and then um, I have it as one layer, right? So this is it. So what we need to do is we need to create a backing for this. So I'll go ahead and go to my layers. I'll create a layer put it on the bottom and i'm going to choose the color white so i'm going to drag it and that is going to be the color of the, of the base this is going to be how i start so i want to add little stars and little you know fun little cute stuff things that go along with the sticker sheet and i also want to make sure that i add my name my company name, whatever it may be. In this case, it's Kime. And I, I name every single sticker sheet, so I want to make sure that I add the name of the sticker sheet on here as well. Before I start adding all the stars and, and whatnot, I'm going to go ahead and go to the actions bar. I'm going to go on to canvas, and I'm going to add a drawing guide. The drawing guide just helps it so it gives me a ruler and a grid so I know when I'm working in a straight line. Okay. And then I'm going to go in, and I'm going to go to my, okay, where's that pencil? <laughs> so, so I use the Narender pencil, and um, what you'll notice about the Narender pencil is, let's go into it, when you draw, it is not as forgiving, like for straight lines. Right. So what I do is when I know that I'm ready to create my backing, duplicate this pencil. So this is Narrator Pencil 1 now. And then I'm going to turn the streamline all the way up. And this makes it so there's more flow and less mistakes. Right. So I'm going to go on Narrator Pencil 1. I'm going to change the color. I choose like a 
black. What I would suggest you do, and I do have this, is create a palette for um, how you create the backings of your sticker sheets so they all stay consistent. So this is actually the color that I use right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in, find the center. It's easier to work on a separate layer right now. And I'm going to Okay, make it a little bit smaller. Another layer. Okay, now you're probably wondering why I did it in a separate layer. It's because Kime, there's a snapping tool. I'm going to add snap to it so it finds the exact center. This is the center. Cozy Cottage, same thing. Snap tool. Oh, is there an extra pixel? There it is. There you go. In the exact center. center. Okay, now I'm going to merge these two layers together. Perfect. I'm going to add another layer. And then I'm going to, let's say, hmm, I'm going to choose. What I do is I kind of choose one of the colors that I want on here. And I'm going to choose this yellow. I'm going to hold it with my finger, choose the yellow. I'm on the Narender pencil thickness however you like and I'm gonna go in and I'm just going to add some little some lines just to kind of fill in the space a little bit to add some emphasis on some if you want and just to make it a little bit more fun add your personality to it I know that for the uh, winter ones that I created I made little like uh, here, let me show you like little candy canes you know little heart candy canes so it's kind of up to you how and what you want to do you can add um, what I've noticed some people do is like add their Instagram handle down here or add a hashtag, their website, their shop name, all that kind of stuff. It's up to you how you want to do it because it's your sticker sheet so you can do whatever you want. Okay, something that I do, you do have to check though is if you take off this, you want to make sure that none of these lines interfere with the actual sticker outline. So everything looks good right and then perfect and take out this drawing guide so you can see so we just made a sticker backing now what we need to do is we need to export this so it's going to be two separate images the first image is going to be the sticker right here are all the stickers that you want to have cut the second image will be everything but the sticker so imagine this is another image that you want to have cut. Only instead of individual like socks to be cut, it's going to be one big sticker rectangle. So it's stickers on top, sticker on bottom. Individual stickers, rectangle sticker. Boom. Like that. Okay? So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I will share this. I'm going to share it as a PNG, that's a portable network graphics, and this I believe is the best quality. Okay, I'm going to airdrop it over to my laptop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to 
export just this. So again, actions, shares a PNG. I'm going to airdrop it to over to my laptop so that we can work in design space. All right, I think that is it for the overhead now. Let's go. Hello, hello, welcome back to my face. <laughs> um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna make sure I have screen record on and I'm going to record. Perfect, okay, so Perfect. All right. So I have the two images here. I have the the front and I have the back, right? I'm going to go over to my Cricut Design Space. I'm going to go to New Projects. Go to New Projects and then I'm going to upload the images. So the first one I'll upload going to upload it as a complex image, find details, blended colors, low contrast between subject and background. I always use complex. All right, continue. And then I'm going to also upload the back. Yeah, looks good, looks good. All right, now I'm going to select both images. I'm going to insert it. So now we have our design space. I'm going to put that one on top, select both of them. I'm gonna go up here to the line and then I'm going to center them. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Exactly what I want. And then I'm going to attach them. I'm not going to flatten them because if I flatten them, it'll just cut out as one big rectangle. But there are two separate images. This one with the cut and print and this one with the cut and print. And then I'm going to select it and I'm going to resize it exactly how, um, ex the exact size of my sticker sheets. So my sticker sheets are six by four which is, I think, the standard size of an image. So I rotate it 90 degrees, and then it's six inches by four. Perfect. I'm gonna change the position again to zero, zero. I don't know why it does that. This is a new thing. It's really annoying. I'm going to Command C for copy, and then I always do zero by 4.5. And then, again, see, there's one and two, right? If I were to make it, I think it'd go into two separate sheets, which is not what you want. Because you want to optimize your sticker sheet. I'm going to attach it again. So now, when you make it, it's in one sheet. And then you go through your normal process of printing and cutting. All right, I hope that helps. I really, really hope it helps. So this is what it will eventually look like when you print it out. After it's been cut to six by four. And if you have any other questions about, you know, other tips and tricks or have any questions on what to do, I am an open book and I'll tell you guys everything that I've learned because I learned from other people. So I want to be able to share that knowledge with you guys here. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a splendid day. Happy New Year and um, take care of yourself. Do something good for yourself and just be really kind. Bye.